Hey everybody, welcome back to the Corey story. Today is the start of a new video series we're going to be doing. Hopefully this will be about three or four parts for you guys. And uh, we're going to give you the history of Texas today. We're here at the Children's County Heritage Museum. And uh, I'm going to take you all on a tour with me today and I really hope you enjoy this. Thanks for checking it out and let's go learn about Childress, guys. Hi everybody. So here we are, like I said, we're at the Childress County Heritage Museum. I'm here with Leanne. She is the museum director. So, hi everyone. Welcome to the museum. Um, I've been here about seven years now trying to learn about the town I grew up in. So. Working here at the museum, we have several books in case you're interested, and these are not for sale, they're only for here at the reference. We have a book called The Children's County Story by Michael Early that people will find this maybe at thrift shops, garage sales, estate sales, things like that if you're interested in the history of Children's County. There is one called They Followed the Rails, also a history of Children's County. It is a page-by-page -page look through the book for it. There's no table of contents, no index. So just be fair warned. Excellent. Lots of history. Lots of history to be learned here, Yes. Guys. And the other one we look at a lot is the, the Gateway to the Panhandle by James Murphy, which is also a state sale, garage sale, thrift shop type thing. Excellent. If you're interested. Here's the map that Leanne is holding. The theater is, so the theater is no longer in? It's still there. It's still, okay. So the theater the 1800s. Is, is still in the same location. What else is in the same location? Not much. Um, our reference point when we act, reference this map is always the Legrand Theater. I've turned it sideways so I can see it. It's right here. So once I find the Legrand, I know where my locations are. This first street right here, it would be Commerce. Next one over would be Main. Now in the early days, they were not called Commerce and Main. They were had other names like Henry Johnson and things like that. The story goes that the streets were renamed because when people came to town, they couldn't figure out where everything was. So they had a meeting and they renamed the streets to one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And that's how we got our current street names. And they divided wow. it into quadrants, which some people are still confused about the quadrants. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have problems with directions anyway, so I can't hardly use the map today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. So, yeah. So I have another map see. somewhere where it has the other names like Cromwell, you know. Lexington, whatever oh, it is. Wow. Yeah. That is so neat. I love it. Yeah, so as you see the progression of these cities and these small towns in our country here, here especially in Texas, the, the change, the progress, the, sometimes they, some of the towns look bigger back in the day than they do nowadays. Yes, Childress has gone through an up and down population growth. Wow. Just like all towns. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now, so how did Childress Get it started. Well, actually, there were two different towns. There was one called a town called Childress City okay. and a town called Henry. Childress was actually named after George Campbell Childress, who wrote the Texas Declaration of Independence or helped wow. write it. Wow. So when the railroads started coming through, all towns knew that if they got involved with the railroad, that it would make their town grow, be able to allow would that be would allow them to be able to send their goods and you know other things okay. across the country oh, right. so henry and childress started vying for the railroad's attention the railroad actually liked the land that's here better than they liked what was down the road where childress oh, right. city was here we go. so childress and henry started vying and arguing back and forth as to who was going to deal with the railroad and who was going to become the county seat Okay. There are varying stories about how that argument went down, but eventually Childress City won out and moved three miles down the road, according to one of the newspaper articles. Wow. And this became Childress, and they dropped the city at some point. 
Wow, that is really neat. That's really neat. I love it. I love it. I love to hear how towns got their start. Where did it all come from? I mean, we spend so much time just living day to day that uh, we think about what we have now, phones, this and that, but we don't think of where we came from, what got mm -hmm. us to the level of technology. But you know, without the founding of these towns, we wouldn't have what we have today. This is very true. So, okay, one of the stories I believe was that they wanted a petition and the all sorts of names were put on that petition and one story like i said one story goes that they found out that there were names of horses on that petition oh wow <laughs> so early early days voter fraud in the late 1800s a little a little corruption in there <laughs> so wow. but, you know it's all said and done there's no going back so here we are children's is the county seat so wow Wow, the little things we do to yes, it's a name, you know, whatever it happens to be. Makes for great stories. Though. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Little tidbits about Childers County. Yeah. Well, excellent, excellent. Were there were there any fights reported or anything like that? Any feuds? Oh yes. Well, the actually, state? the county was made up of two um, ranches: the Shumail and the Ox. Oh. What was I asking? So, to con oh. continue our story about the first killing, the first killing happened between two cowboys who were working for the Shunel Ranch. Maybe they had a little too much to drink or whatever it was, but they got into an argument over how to take care of a pair of jeans. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the argument ensued, and they, Mr. Pankney was shot, and he is actually buried out at the Children's Cemetery. Wow. All courtesy of the Children's County story. Wow. Or jeans. <laughs> yes. And we think or people get killed over stupid things. That's always happened. <laughs> okay, let me read it correctly. Charlie Stewart and Will Pankney, two employees of the ranch, had quarreled the night before over trousers. Maybe not. Uh, back then, it was a custom for cowboys to put clothing under the mattress. They slept on in order to iron out the wrinkles, and as far as can be determined, the incident triggered the shooting the following morning over a pair of pants. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it happened right here in Childress, guys. Yes. <laughs> Literally, a pair of pants. Wow. Wow. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Another little tidbit about Yeah. Kind of <laughs> Definitely worth it if you. <laughs> Some of you don't see on. On everyday TV, that, that they don't tell you about. <laughs> you know, nowadays we argue over the little b things as well. Same thing, hadn't changed. So yeah. Anyway, that's it. Wow. Well, that's cool. So, what did this building start? Has it always been a museum, or? Uh, actually, no. There was a Methodist church here to begin with. Okay. Then they got a different location. And the U.S. Post Office really liked this land, and so they started building this in 1935. There was actually another post office in existence, so that one had to still keep in operation while this one was being built. So here on this wall, we have multiple pictures of this building being built in 1935. I especially, if you can see it, like this picture at the top, because you've got a car like in a ditch. And they've got mules on top because it would be easier to put the mules on top with the wagons and dump the dirt down into the pickup rather than to have the pickup and raise the dirt right. and dump it that way. Wow. So this way the truck could just pull out. And you can see the Presbyterian Church oh. in the background right there. Wow. Over on this picture, they're still clearing the land, but my next door neighbor, the hotel is visible in this picture going on. This picture right here, we are still standing on the original flooring, the original quote backsplash, the original spindles, and the original door frame and arches. Wow. So you are standing right there on that picture. Wow. <laughs> they built things to last. Yes, they did. <laughs> this is a very well built building. Oh, it is. It is. I mean, it's 
not run down. It's not dilapidated. If you take care of it, it'll last. We're forever. trying. Yeah. You guys are doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you. A great job. Now, this picture right here, as we get further into the museum and exploring more of the children's history, this is wood floor. Right now it's carpeted over and there are other exhibits when they turned this into a museum they had to make some modifications. So I know that Mr. Cromwell here has been here before. Um, you know where the check wagon exhibit is? Around yeah, the corner. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. check wagon. Oh wow. And where the Indian the Native American yeah. exhibits are. How awesome. So, it's all wood flooring back there. Wow. A beautiful, beautiful building. So, yeah, we're doing good since 1935. Yeah. <laughs> there are some modifications, like in this picture right here, move my chair. If you get a close-up look at this picture, um, there are no plugs. There's no lights. There's no fans. And if you've ever been as a visitor to the museum, this little half door and right here is no longer there. It is a full door now. Wow. And the story goes in this picture, the tellers, if I'm looking directly at it, the tellers are on the left, or the boxes are on the left, the tellers are on the right. Most residents will come in and tell me that when they remember coming in, the boxes will be on the right and the tellers were on the left. So when they started making modifications, they switched the two. Wow. When that happened, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> that is neat. So, okay. Childress was made up of two different ranches, the shoe nail and the ox. One of, we get, oh, museums get a lot of their donations from either residents or past residents that can tell the story, they've got different artifacts, letters, whatever the case may be. Recently, we got an email from a lady telling me that she had a brand from her great uncle or great grandfather, a relative of hers, who had worked at the shoe nail. He had come on to help out with the ranch and as time went on, his position got bigger and bigger. His name was William Henry Craven. And so when the ranch around the early 1900s or 1910, somewhere in that vicinity, when the ranch started splitting up, Mr. Craven bought a section of land and renamed it the TV Ranch, that section of land that he owned. There was a sign, if you know anything about Childress, there was a sign on 83 going from Childress to Wellington that said TV Ranch. So we ended up getting that brand from the Craven family. Yes, so I just thought that was an interesting tidbit. That's awesome. That <laughs> so, cool. you know, surprises, donations can come from anywhere. Uh, I'll throw this in. We have a lady. At one point, Childress had 44 schools in their county. And they were just all everywhere. And you, you were thinking that the kids are walking. So every two miles, they're building a school. They were literally walking to school. So we had a lady from New Jersey come in and told me that her mother went to one of those 44 schools. And she still has a lot of this elementary school paperwork from that time frame. And wow. yes, we are going to take that donation as well. <laughs> Excellent. So no matter where it's coming from, New Jersey, you know, it doesn't make any difference. It's, um, we've had people from all over the state tell us they have found things at estate sales, garage sales that apply to children and they will turn around and send it to us. Wow. That is incredible. That is awesome. All over. It doesn't yes, matter. Yes. No, it does not make any difference. And the museum is always looking for pictures, letters, anything that helps the story of children progress. And That's give us more information than what we had beforehand. Wow. I love it. That is so cool. You just never know. No, you really never know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well... 
We just finished up the introduction to this series, and it's just introducing you to the history of Childress. We have just begun, guys, so please stay tuned. We have a lot more coming for you. Thanks for viewing.